we want to have fun, there's two things. Discipline and safety. Today we are going to have a normal three-day, two nights camp uh, for P5 students. It involves uh, educating students, uh, trying to link what they learn and see in the outdoors to their lives and uh, how they can apply it after they end camp. Then you are going to have a lot of fun. We are here to learn to get close to nature and be comfortable with the uncomfortable. To learn how to trust and work uh, with each other and bond with each other. <laughs> Pledging ourselves to always being truthful to each other for the three day, two night camp. I had some vegetables and fish balls. So this lunch was good. The food was healthy and I liked it. You are going to fold it in half. They're going to fold a boat using the paper they have. So inside, I got them to write a commitment. So finding out what are the things that they can do to improve on themselves. So it's something that is physical and tangible that they can have in their hands. We were making an origami in which we had our goals to be finished in the future. We were supposed to do low elements right now, but then it's raining really badly outside. So you must do an indoor activity. We cannot do the low elements, so it's kind of disappointing. Uh, we are going to do water filtration. So this is actually a build-up for tomorrow's hike. It's all collected and trapped at the carbon layer. Okay, the rule is when you are holding the pipeline, you need to have two hands. So right now, I'm going to conduct a team building activity using uh, the pipeline. Uh. So basically, they will work together and get the ball transported from the start to the end point. We learned about how to work together and never to give up if the ball stuck on the way. I learned about teamwork and communication with my friends. Instead of on the screen and on the phones, we are going fishing. Are we ready? Yeah! We get to learn how to use different equipment to catch the fishes um, without just using fishing rod. I have fun because I learn to do stuff even when I don't want to do it. I was afraid to go inside the water. It was a lot of fun trying to throw the trap into the pond. I didn't catch a single fish. Uh, the journey is tomorrow, the hike. But what we did was we tell them to prepare and plan what they need to bring on the hike. So I give them the time, the distance, and then they will just need to pack how much water, how much food, and even uh, what other additional things that they might want to carry. So I will allow them some time to look at the store, and then uh, they will actually see and discuss in their groups what they want to bring. Right now, we are going out for our night walk. The distance roughly is less than one kilometer, so it will take 10 to 15 minutes. Do not discount your friend's or buddy's experience by being too noisy. We went for a night walk. The experience was very interesting. Uh, I feel excited uh, with my buddy as there was a lot of obstacles for us to go through. I learned to communicate well with your friend and try not to on the lights too much to scare off the animals, the habitat here. And it's actually quite fun. We walk along and we just admire the surroundings. And learn to explore different things in the dark without using lights. I felt very scared and having a lot of fun at the same time. We went through like a lot of obstacles and rocks on the way there and in the end we get to view a very magnificent view of the mountains. We learned some histories of what happened there. It was actually a quarry in the past which was known as the Derry Fun Quarry. Most people don't get to see this area, especially at night. 
Okay, but we have a special arrangement to bring students here to enjoy the view. It was nice time to have quiet time with the class. You no know, one like shouting or screaming. Usually, when people are lost, okay, they use the Orion's belt to lead them to the North Star. In the beginning of the camp, we had initiation, so this is to actually close up the gaps. So some of them need affirmation, they need positive reinforcement, positive words, encouragement. Some of them, maybe they just need to feel belong to a group. Uh, talking about the friendships that they have made, and then uh, how they have actually uh, become better versions of themselves. <laughs> Singapore Quarry. The student takes ownership of the entire journey, so they will navigate the group. They have their own water bottles, they have extra water, they have planned everything. So including the safety like a cover litter and also the first aid kit, so they are in charge of the entire expedition. From this expedition, they will learn about preparation and planning. Uh, they will learn about teamwork and also resilience because uh, the distance varies depending on the navigator skills. This activity will take about four hours. It's not entirely walking, uh, walking will be about maybe 45 minutes and then along the way we'll stop for flora and fauna explanations. This flower is actually like a water cooler for the birds, especially the sunbirds, they'll come and then they'll drink. So we... <laughs> Are you okay? We went for hiking and heard a lot of birds chirping and learned about leaves and we saw on the lizards. When I reached the quarry, I was very amazed because it was very majestic. I feel a sense of achievement and thrilling as the sight of the quarry is amazing. experience in a camp was uh, fun because I can stay with my friends. It is great as we can bond with friends and we can make new friends and know how to be independent. It changed me into like more adventurous person so like I don't get more afraid about insects and small little things. We are a fun bunch of students which I enjoy being with. Through this camp you can see that there are things that can never be replicated in the classroom. And going outdoor, going to the nature, they learn to appreciate nature, while at the same time discovering themselves, which would help them to support one another throughout the year. Oh, those uh, teachers who are bringing their, their kids over, don't worry, uh, we know how to take care of their kids. So join in the fun and participate in the camp. Take the chance to build your teacher-student relationship with your students. 